What's going on, you hooligans? It's Dr. Wookie. I'm going to be talking about Aether Edge, the hardware devices, and how to install them, how to troubleshoot them, because it did it was a little tricky. It took me a little bit of work, but I got it down solid now. Doesn't mean this isn't the only way, but I'm telling you, I got it down pat. So when you first plug it in, uh, plug it into a hardline internet, okay? So LAN cable to your internet box, okay? Plug it in and it's gonna say waiting for network like this. Now, after a while, it's gonna actually end up showing a, a like a little code here, like a QR code. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on your phone and you're gonna download the Aether app. It's gonna look similar to this. Uh, this one's online, so it's a little different. When you click get started, obviously it's gonna ask you how you wanna sign in. Uh, obviously I do Google because I'm lazy. And then it goes ahead and successfully connected. Now, when you get to here, there's a settings bar down here, a little settings gear, and you'll be able to click uh, add new device or uh, when you click it, it should just kind of go to your camera and you just point that camera obviously at the screen of the QR code and then boom, it is now listed as one of your devices. And so when you are at the home screen here, you'll see your device shown and it'll say something like working, okay? Now, the Wi-Fi is super tricky. So after you do that, leave it plugged into that hardline internet cable and do nothing else, okay? You already scanned the QR code, you're good to go. Now, I really mastered this because I did it on numerous machines here. Um, so it definitely, this is the best way to do it in my opinion. It'll say waiting for staking after a little while. That's fine, do nothing, okay? You literally will wait hours, hours and hours, okay? Until it says something like this and it says working. When it is now blue and working, now you can go back to your phone and again, it looks kind of like this. It'll be a little different, but when you go to settings, uh, over here, there'll be like a network button. You click that network button, you find the exact one that you have. I actually wrote Sharpie, the last four numbers of uh, the code or their like ID on them. So it's easy to identify. And then you'll be able to click it and then you'll click connect. You'll connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, it should show up if it's as long as it's blue like this. And then it'll give you a nice blue screen on your phone that says connection successful. After that happens, you can now unplug that hard line cable from your blue one and now plug it into the next one you have if you have more than one that's just red like that. Plug it in and you're gonna do the same exact process over again. Now, if you have a couple of plugs on your internet thing, you can do more than one at a time. I did two at a time when I was doing it. And once it says connected successful uh, to the Wi-Fi, unplug it. After you unplug it, it's gonna go red again. It is fine. Do nothing. Again, do nothing. Just wait. Again, you might have to wait an hour or so, but after a while, it will finally show blue again, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure it's still connected in the background. I don't know. I don't know why I have to wait hours when it's hardline plugged in. Maybe it's updating and stuff. And after a while, it all, of course, will all be blue like this. And then you just do it one by one, connect it to the Wi-Fi, and then you should be good to go. Um, that is definitely what works for me the best. Um, Definitely being early is the best as well because uh, obviously the rewards are quite nice right now. Um, and even if I just do a quick like calculation based on like current token price in a year, it's like 4,100. This is definitely better to have right now than the checker nodes. Um, I'll go ahead and leave Fakaxa's uh, nice cool little Excel sheet down below in case you wanna take a look um, and kind of see the emission amount, how many are online. Right now there's about 10,000 of these online and the next sale uh, I believe is only gonna be like 3,000 more or so. I'm not 100% sure, um, but for sure, uh, you know, these are earning five and a half times more than the checker nodes and they're about $1,000 for a mining unit uh, versus who knows how much the checker nodes are now. But my point is uh, these are definitely the winner um, at this moment until of course, you know, if we get like, you know, a good 50,000 online, obviously the numbers will go down and everything like that. But that's my troubleshooting. Um, I definitely, after I got it figured out, wasn't too hard to go through and get them set up. Um, so let me know if you have any other problems down below, but this is the way it worked for me and I hope that was helpful for you. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees. Mm -hmm.